It is day three, week three of Stretch a Day with Vera Flow. Today I'm going to do a pigeon pose. Now, this can be quite a challenging one for people. You might want to have a block or blanket, something you can slip under your leg to make it a little bit more comfortable for you, if you want. Again, you don't have to. So, we're going to come from a seated position, you can come into it. Just bending your right leg in front of your body and just press your body forwards so that the, the knee is in front of you and your foot is coming down towards your hip. Now we're not going to flex the foot fully, we're going to call, we're going to do what we like to call flint our foot. So point your toes, point your foot away from away from your shin, so it's pointing down towards this leg, but then flex your toes back. And really think about pressing your little toes, your, the bottom of your foot into the floor, so your ankle stays in a straight line and it's not pressing up like this. Okay, then we're gonna slip this leg behind us. So you want to come onto the top of your thigh and the top of your leg, so that your hips are as square as possible. And you're resting on the top of your left foot. If you prefer, you can tuck your toes under. Now, if you want the block, this can be helpful to just give a little bit of height here so that you can get your hips square. It's quite a high block, so you might want something a little bit smaller. Just depends on your own flexibility and your anatomy, okay? So using your hands to support you, reach up and away with your chest, try not to compress your lower back, and if you want to, you can gently bring it forwards. So you're resting on your hands, and depending on how you're feeling, you might want to take it all the way down. And you can reach your arms away, or you can keep them in, and just resting there. Bring it up, pressing into your hands. So that's quite an intense stretch on your side of your hips and your glutes. So we'll bring it in the other side. So yeah, just lay that knee on the floor in front of you. Reach away, so you're flointing this foot, pointing your foot down towards your hip, and then flexing your toes back. Trying to get the hips, or aiming to get your hips square. It's very difficult, very tricky, this one. And um, if you're tight in your hips, so foot lying flat behind you, Pressing up into your hands, get the hips square. Just find a comfortable position. Remember, you can slot something under here if you need to. And if you want, you can bring it down. Just resting gently over your leg. Reach your hands away if you want to, or you can keep them close. And pressing into your hands to lift up. Reach your chest away, bringing your right hip forwards. And breathe into it. Good. Well done. That was a challenging stretch there. That's the pigeon for the third week of the stretch a day. I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already. And if you are interested in taking class, hop along to veraflow.com. We also train instructors, so if that's something you're interested in, go ahead, visit our website, veraflow.com. Vera meaning true in Italian. It's about finding your true flow in your body and your mind. I will see you tomorrow for another stretch of a day.